I came to Canada about uh, 15 years ago. So I arrived in Canada in 1999 as a landed uh, immigrant. Now I'm very proud to call Toronto my home or my hometown. Um, Toronto is an amazing immigration um, or, or the city for immigrants. Um, everybody coming from different country, different background, yeah, proudly right. calls this city their home city, right? Um, but back then, my false understanding of a Canadian city such as Toronto was um, all English speaking, everybody was supposed to be Caucasian. <laughs> so I had very limited understanding of the city, apparently. Um, so it was not easy. As she said, life was not easy at that time. She had to make a living with her husband. So she began to find jobs and started her career at a pre-college. And later on, she came up with a great idea. I was so young. I had no experience. I just simply had the belief that I could change something uh -huh. to make it better. Yeah. And I had some ideas. So I went to the principal who um, was also a personal friend of mine. I presented to him a program. Yeah. That program uh, was basically the origin uh -huh. of the current Green Path program. Uh -huh. So I designed a program. It's a language intensive but also was um, quite a bit of um, a cultural uh, um, adaptation, for example. Um, and I said, for this type of program, um, we need to partner up with the best. Of course, I was ambitious, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> young and ambitious. Yeah, I <laughs> and I said, of course, you need to partner up with the best strongest and most reputable um, university yeah, yeah. in Canada. We can just sell this program to U of T. So I was both ambitious and very naive <laughs> and clueless. <laughs> so I went to U of T Scarborough. Um, it was pretty much very cold call. So I made a call to um, later on my director, Jack Martin. By then he was the director of the um, retail and uh, conference services. Yeah. And we presented this program to him. I guess I was uh, very genuine. Mm -hmm. um, I truly believe uh, the program, the structure, the design of the program uh, will not only bring the best students from China to the best university in Canada, mm -hmm. but also um, produce a lot of uh, mutually beneficial byproducts um, to um, the parties involved. And then the first cohort of Green Path students, again, by then we call it Foundation Program, mm -hmm. arrived in Canada in 2004. Uh, it was very successful, and then we started um, including more elite high schools in our program. And by then I was approached by UTSC saying that, can you, are you interested in becoming um, a permanent employee of U of T? In 2004, or by the end of 2004, early 2005, I became a permanent employee of UTSC. I sort of um, um, indicated that in my earlier mm -hmm. uh, comment, the connection, mm -hmm. um, the root, yeah. means a lot um, to mainstream uh, companies, institutions, mm -hmm. and so on in Canada. So originality is very, very important. Yeah. The root is very, very important. Mm -hmm. My responsibility in, my job responsibilities include friend raising and fundraising. So I raise fund yes. to support UTSC scholarship. Uh -huh. Why they're interested in having me working in this very elite and competitive team um, was very straightforward and simple. Uh, I am first generation Chinese immigrant. Yes. I understand I speak the language. Yeah. 
Um, I understand cultural sensitivities. Mm -hmm. I understand how to navigate the social network. Mm -hmm. And um, I can do or close the deal in a way that most people who are, who are not familiar with the, the culture or even some second generation uh, uh, immigrants, um, uh, they cannot do. Yeah, sure. So talking about the benefits um, of being first generation immigrant, there are lots of lots of lots of benefits. Um, I think people like you, mm -hmm. uh, like me, should be extremely proud of our route. And should be extremely proud of uh, the role, and should be extremely confident in the role that we can play in a country such as Canada. Mm -hmm. um, to have that language, to have that ability, to have that sen cultural sensitivities mean a lot. That's why we're, we are competitive. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think one message that I want to send through you to all the international students is. You don't need to transform yourself into a Canadian in order mm -hmm. to be successful. To keep your originality, to keep your root, will make you a better uh, candidate or will, or will make you more competitive. I want you guys to respect cultural diversity and respect cultural integration. And that is a key also to success. But um, at the same time, be very proud of you being Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, be very proud of Chinese culture mm -hmm. and be a cultural um, ambassador. You know, talk to your friends uh, like me. If you uh, pay attention to my WeChat, every single WeChat that I post is written in, in, in um, Mandarin. Mandarin yeah. And I have a lot of English speaking people yeah. on my WeChat. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they ask me, you know, can you do the translation? I said, I'm sure I can do the translation, but I, I, every single time I use that as an opportunity to teach them yeah. something about uh, the language or yeah. the culture. And uh, I am very interested also in classic poem uh, composition. Yeah. So I write a lot of, like, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, they may not, like, they may not Canadian them. people will have no clue about yeah, that. But again, like yeah, them, it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah. But again, um, to me, it, first of all, I enjoy doing it. Yeah. But secondly, you know, the ancient, relatively ancient um, um, literature mm -hmm. um, is just so much more profound um, and so much more um, meaningful. The short message that I want to sent to the international students is cultural integration is very, very important. Um, push or expand your comfort zone, mm -hmm. right? Learning a new culture, making friends, um, uh, coming from different cultures, it's not easy, it's not comfortable, but you have to make that effort Otherwise, studying here for four years, um, living in Canada, f at the same time feeling like you never have left your hometown. Exactly. It's yeah. a pure waste of your time and, and, and uh, money. I often tell my students, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to uh, use qualified management method to manage your time here. So my second message is actually, it's all about man time management. Um, in China, everything was designed for you, everything was uh, arranged for you. You really didn't have any time to uh, beat yourself. Mm -hmm. But here in Canada, you have full course load, for example, yeah. but you only go to the classroom for 18, 20 hours per week. Yeah. And you can choose to go to the class classroom to listen to the lecture yeah. or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have that much time um, you know, um, that you can control or you can waste. Since Margaret is very busy with her work, we really appreciate that she was willing to save her time for us 
and gave us so much helpful information. Thank you again, Margaret. <laughs>